Hello and welcome back to another video and today I have an absolutely epic Drytron decklist um, pro post um, lightning overdrive with the new support of Diviner and the new Xyz monster and so many other things. Well, basically only those two things. The deck has gotten a significant boost in power. Without further ado, be sure to smash like button and comment down below what you guys think of my take on the deck because I think it is pretty, pretty cool. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so first off, we're running one Vanity's Ruler. Vanity's Ruler is great, and a lot of people aren't running this anymore, and I cannot see why. This card alone, first of all, it's searchable, and it's really easy to make. And the thing about this card is that if you make this card alone, your opponent can't out this most of the time. That's what's so good about this. If you summon this against Dragon Link, you win, guaranteed. You summon this against uh, Chaizu. You win, guaranteed. Like, this card is just insane in the sense that it is almost always good. And even when it isn't good, it's a 2500 body that's searchable. So, you know, it, it, I think it's a very, very good card. And I truly believe that running the deck without this card is just strategically wrong. And I, I really like Vanny's Ruler, so I did want to throw that in immediately and let you guys know. Triple Diviner of the Herald. Um, Diviner is a brand new card, brand new support. It is a bit pricey, but it is totally worth its price tag. This card is absolutely insane, and it gives you access to start running cards like Entes, and obviously Herald to just search and pop cards, and load up your graveyard, which is really great, because Diviner also when it's tributed, it's an extender, because it sums level tool over fairy. And why this card is just so good is it gives you an extender and another form of interruption slash removal and a reliable normal summon that doesn't have to be like a Manju or something, which is very, very, very good. And that's why we are running Triple Diviner of the Herald, and I highly recommend running this card at 3. Next, we have Triple um, Dretron Alpha Thuban. Obviously, Alpha is the best one by far. It is a searcher, and generically, searchers tend to be pretty, pretty good. We have Triple um, Zeta over here. Zeta is also a very good card. It's your second best one, in my opinion. A lot of people would disagree with this and say Gamma's a bit better. I personally prefer Zeta, and that's why running Triple Zeta and 2 Gamma. Gamma is an extender, so it's a lot better late game in my opinion. Obviously, it's great going first two, but I do think it's a bit worse than Zeta. And finally, we have the one um, Delta Altaise, obviously the worst one, but you do have to run it because it, it's still a good card. That's just how good the Jerichons are. All of these, are, I think, are I think this is just the perfect lineup, the perfect ratios for this deck. I would not change this at all, in my opinion. I feel like just three, three, two, one is the most consistent and best way to play the deck. Double Eva. Now, Eva is great because first of all, when it's sent to the graveyard, which is very easy to do, you just get to search for two light fairies. You just search for two cards for free. Now, I don't think I need to explain why that is good, but in case you guys didn't get it, you can search for Herald of the Orange Light, which is some extra negates during your opponent's turn, or worst case, uh, worst case scenario, just two more cards to discard off of Ultimateness to negate their stuff. So, Eva is a great card and definitely deserves a spot in the deck. Triple Herald of the Orange Light. Now, Herald is a great card. It's just a monster negation. I know a lot of people like to run um, Purple Light and Blue Light. What, the purple is a trap negation. Blue is a spell negation. But obviously, Orange is the best one by far. You guys can run like one of the purple, maybe one blue or something. I don't think that's very good though. I think that just searching two oranges off of Eva doesn't get much better than that. Triple Ash Blossom in Joy Spring. In my opinion, this is the hand, best hand trap just in general. I don't think this card should ever be like power crept because it's just a very good card. And even if it is power crept, it would still be a three of in almost every single deck. This card is great. Triple Drill and Lock Word. I am maining this card, and this is a bit interesting because obviously Drill is a bit unconventional. But a lot of people are also starting to main this now because it is really, really good this format. Now, it's good against Trazu because they can't search their revolt after they go Nerval to search. They can't search their revolt again and with the new link monster it's great against drytron obviously it just kills drytron um it's it's good against just a lot of decks dragon link all of that stuff just droll really hits heavy and so that's why we're running triple droll in the main deck i do quite like it but obviously this is your flex spot you can run whatever you want instead of this as obviously it's it's the best thing to be creative with your own deck list we have one cyber angel ben 10 while it's at one to be honest it's worse but it does not do anything to the deck because it's so easy to loot this card regardless. And you have stuff like Diviner now and like the new Xyz monster that the deck is even significantly better than it was before Union Carrier got banned and Cyber Angel Ben 10 got limited. In my opinion, obviously, a lot of people will disagree. Once again, though, I think the deck is just better now. 
one Cyber Angel, Idaton. Idaton is just a great. Idaton's an amazing card, obviously. It just searches a ritual spell. It's just a bad Benton, basically. And Benton's that good that Idaton's just great. Um, not then we have the one Natasha. This card is the card that I hate playing against and I love running. Not only does it steal a monster from your opponent's graveyard, but it's great in time because you can gain half of the attack as life points, which is very, very good. It comes up way more than you guys would think. One Herald of Ultimateness. Ultimateness, ending your normal end board will be Vanny's Ruler and Ultimateness. Now, if you guys realize that, that means you have like five, six negates because you search that much with Ultimateness and Vanny Ruler on top. Your opponent's not doing anything. Like your opponent, there's not a single scenario in the world where your opponent will be able to do a single thing. So Ultimateness and Vanny's Ruler are just your boss monsters and you get them both out going first and going second. It's just too easy to be honest. Onto the spells, we have Triple Dreitra Nova. Nova is a pricey card, but obviously completely worth it. It just summons from deck. That's all. It summons from deck. Now, I don't know if I need to explain why that's good, but I, I'll just say it, it summons from deck. That That's how good it is. We have um, Double Dreitron Fafnir. Fafnir is a great card because it can search your Nova, which once again summons from your deck, which is insanely broken. We have the Ritual Spell 1 Medionis Dreitron. Medionis is great because you not only can it Ritual Summon, but it Ritual Summons in the special way that Dreitrons have with um, attack instead of levels, and also can add itself back to the hand, which is really, really, really nice. Triple Cyber Emergency. Now, as you guys know, I love Cyber Dragons, and I love them so much, I had to toss this into the... No. Um, Cyber Emergency is just a great card. Cyber Dragons are great with it, obviously, and in Drytron, you can just use it to search basically your um, Thuban, or Alpha, as most people call it, and that's just amazing. You can search whatever you need for any given time, and a lot of people forget if this card's um, activation is negated, so not if it's Ash, but if it's, like, Judgmented, you can pitch a card and add it back to your hand because the activation was negated, you're able to activate it once again that turn. And why this is so good is because if they do, if you do discard a card and you discard your Dreitron cards, then like they can all summon themselves back from the grave. So it's like you didn't do anything because it would have, it's literally exactly the same. Triple Pot of Prosperity, the final, like, not final, this is another really expensive card right now, but this card is just broken, lets you dig six cards deeper into your deck, or three if you don't want to uh, expend the resources, but Prosperity, I feel like it's never a bad top deck, it's never bad to have in your opening hand, obviously, unless you have, like, no cards in your exit deck, which, let's be real, never happens. Prosperity is just a great card, to be honest. Run three of this card if you can afford it. Otherwise, you guys can run, like, you can main Dark Rulers and stuff like that. But if you can afford this card, definitely run Triple Prosperity in the main deck. On to the extra deck. Brand new inclusion to the deck. One Elder Entity, Entes. Entes can be run because of Diviner. And Diviner is just so broken because you can now run Entes. It works like that, you know, as a loop. Because Entes basically just pops a card when it's into the grave. And that lets you out problematic cards that you just wouldn't have outs for just with Diviner. Which is very, very, very good. Double Herald of the Arc Light. This card is nuts because of Diviner. Once again, Diviner just sends this, and then you get to search a ritual monster or a ritual spell from your deck to your hand. So basically, gets you to your Medionis or any of these four. And in a scenario in your game where you don't want to expend your alpha search or something like that, you can use this to just get ahead of the game and expend your, re your resources to the point where having the one Ben 10 doesn't affect you as much. So that, that's why Herald is a great two of even, and it's not once per turn, keep that in mind. Yeah, uh, next card, Double Dreitron Mubeta Fafnir. This is a brand new card, a brand new Xyz monster. Two of this card is absolutely perfect. First of all, it's broken because when you ritual summon, you can just detach a material from it instead as a like a material for the ritual summon. And also, um, if it's Xyz summoned, it sends a Dreitron monster from your deck to the grave. Now, these effects are very, very good. Like, also, it's a negate too. So, like, that's insane. It's a negate. Uh, Mubeta Fafnir is just all you can really ask for for the deck, and I don't think I need to explain this too much more, because this card is obviously just broken. We have um, one Beatrice. Beatrice is insane, obviously. I, I love Beatrice. It's just a foolish shit. It's that simple. Beatrice is great. We have um, one Divine Arsenal, double A Zeus, the Sky Thunder. Zeus is never bad, so you might as well throw it in. You have, especially with um, Ubeda Fafnir now, it's so easy to make Zeus. It's not even funny. And the down, um, Downward Magician for the extra material for the Zeus. The Zeus is just, you know, chomping on your opponent's board in case you really need it. But most of the time, with your six negates on ultimateness and, like, your ruler on the board, this won't even matter. But it's nice to have. 
Um, we have the one Lyra Lusk assembled Nightingale, uh, Nightingale. I do like this card at one, but if I had to cut a card, I would cut this from the extract, but I do quite like it. One Axis Code, obviously Axis Code is a better Brawl Sword, and it lets you out your opponent's board when you shouldn't be able to, so this card is great. One um, Unicorn, obviously Unicorn's a great generic card, also with Axis Code, extra 3000 attack, that's pretty nice. One Phoenix, Phoenix is great, and you can even use this as part of your combo piece when you need to link off two months just to get them into the grave even. Phoenix is great. One IP Masquerade. Now, this card is part of your end board and one of the most used cards in the deck, in my opinion, from the extra deck, I mean. And it's just really, really great. One Link Rebo. Link Rebo just. Yeah, it's Link Rebo. All of your monsters are level ones. It's that easy. Just make Link Rebo, and it's a good day. We have one Apollos as our final card. Apollos is great. If you really want to end on more negates than you already have, go for it. By no means do you need to, but in case you want to, you know, you can you can run that Apollos for sure. Onto the side deck, Triple Lancia. Lancia hits hard on a lot of decks this format. Triple Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm obviously is a great card. Just Ragek, your Harpy's Feather Duster. Um, Twin Twisters. I love Twin Twisters. I think it's better than Cosmic right now. Um, Triple Dark Ruler No More. Obviously, you're playing against Dragon Link, stuff like that. You want to have the Inherent out. And Family Triple Evenly Match just for your opponent's massive boards. Just to say, you know what? Screw you, have an evenly match. It, it's that good of a card. And thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smash like and comment down below what you guys think of the deck profile. I really like this list, and I hope you guys did too. Of course, subscribe. It's completely free, and it helps me out a ton. I'll really, really appreciate it. And of course, I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, guys. Peace.